All right, welcome to another super fun Java exercise. This is 21009. You can pause it and read it if you want, or I'll just explain it in short terms. Here's an example string. We want to find what they call singletons. A singleton is a unique word. That is to say, neither its before or after neighbor is the same as it. So this reptile here is not a singleton because the word before it is a reptile. This bird is a singleton because the word before and after it, neither of them are bird. So none of these three birds are singletons because this one has a bird after it, this one has a bird both before and after it, and this one has a bird before it. This mammal is a singleton, and this fish is a singleton. So this has one, two, no, 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 three, four singletons. So if you see the final product, you enter fish, bird, reptile, reptile, bird, 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 mammal, fish. We should, to kill it, it's three, four, five small x's. And that should give us, the, the value at print should be four. It's the value of the number of singletons, so four. So that works, so let's make it happen. Here is the setup. I'm going to do some weird stuff here. Hopefully you approve. If not, please let me know. And if it doesn't work, please yell at me. So we have an integer n that is not given any value. It's going to be zero. And I believe you might think that we need three, three dummy variables or three variables to check. But I, I propose that we only use two. We're going to use what the user says and we're going to use what the user said. So we're not going to use three, we're only going to use two. And hopefully it will work. It did, so we should be able to recreate it. I'm going to put, for user says, I'm going to put two Nope, said. Don't know why I'm redoing it. User said two spaces. I'm going to do three spaces to make them different. And what do we need now? We're going to do a do while loop. A do while loop is one that we will do at least once. And then we're going to check while whether we're going to continue it. A while loop itself, there's a chance if the conditions aren't met that we never enter it to begin with. A do while loop, the do part will be done before the while is checked. So let's start doing. The first thing we want to do is check the truth of the statement that we're looking for. We want to see if user says doesn't equal user said. So if user says with strings, you don't use the double equals. You want to use dot equals user said. And it's actually, we want it not equal. So not equal, then we want to add one to the value of our count. Now we have an interesting problem here, and I want to discuss it for a second. The problem is that this reptile, when it first gets entered, it's actually a positive value. It adds one. So this string itself is three, because one, two, three, they're not redundant. However, once we enter this fourth one, these both become non-singletons. So at this point, we're good to add the three, but at this point, we actually want to take away one. Now, hopefully you see that. So this is actually two singletons, just these, just these four words, because these two are good. But we are going to run into an additional problem, and that problem arises with the three birds. 
So let's let's think at this point we have two. Then we add one because the bird is unique at this point. So it adds one. So we have three. Now this bird is it renders the previous bird not unique and it also is not unique. So we're back down to what were we? One, two, up to three, back down to two, up to three, back down to two. Now the problem is with this one, uh, the way that we're headed, we're going to tend to think that we need to subtract one again, but we don't. We actually don't want to change the count at all with this one because this one wasn't unique to begin with, so it didn't add one previously. Only in the event that the previous value was unique do we want to subtract one. So we're going to introduce a variable, a boolean called was unique, and we're going to set that equal to false, I think, though I might end up changing that initial value. But was unique, we're going to call false for now. Now, if the user says, if the does not equal, so it does not equal, then this value is unique. So we're going to call, we're going to say that was unique becomes true. Now, so there's three cases here that we want to have happen. In one case, the n will be increased by 1. In a second case, it will be decreased by 1. And in a third case, nothing will happen. The third case being this third bird. But let's talk about the second case. The second case happens if, else if, if user says equals user said, So that is to say, like here, this rep, this reptile, it equals that, but also is unique. This was unique. So user says equals that and and was unique equals true because it was unique. In that case, what do we want to have happen? This case here, we actually want to decrease the value of n because the uniqueness of this is gone. So let's do it. Let's get rid of it. n minus equals 1. Now the third case, we can define else but we don't have to because nothing happens so we're not going to because in the case of it is the same as the previous but the previous was not unique then n stays the same and if n stays the same it's just as good as not doing anything oh the other problem or the other thing we need to do if user says equals and was unique equals true now at this point, was unique is now false. I believe this initial value is correct, but I'm not sure. We might end up switching that. Okay, so that's the that deals with the end part. But now we need to define the actual words. So we're going to move from the present to the past. What the user says becomes what the user said. Also, now what the user says is replaced by, well, I don't know. What does the user say? stdin.next. And that should do it for the do. Now we want to do this while user says does not equal, so we'll pretend like it does equal, five little x's. And to get the opposite, we just put an exclamation point. And we need the 
semicolon after the while. And that ends the do while loop. So we're out of the do while loop, but we also don't want to forget to print, uh, what is it, n. All right, if you are feeling confident, I think we can go ahead and compile this and see how we're doing. We'll start with the trivial case. We'll just put hello and then a bunch, three, four, five x's. This should give us a value of one. Please, it's a two. So let's try it with this as true. Was unique equals true. Compile it again. You let me down, guess. Let's try hello, and then one, two, three, four, five. Two again. Where are we going wrong? Okay, where are we going wrong is that we don't want these to not be equal. We want them to be equal. Because we want, in this, in this case, this fake first case, we want this do case, we want the nothing to happen case to happen. And when does the nothing happen case happen? Well, they need to be equal, and was unique needs to be false. Because if they're equal and it's true, then we're going to get a negative one. So let's try this. All right, now we're getting more confident. You always need to screw up a little bit, right? So just hello is a, is a singleton. One, two, three, four, five. Gets us a one. All right, let's try hello hello that will be zero because both of them have hellos one two three four five that's a zero let's try i don't know we'll try our, our test case or the one that they gave us so fish and we want a four don't we reptile reptile bird 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 Mammal, fish, one, two, three, four, five. All right, how are you feeling? You want to see a four down here? I want to see a four down here. Go. All right, I think we can call this a success. So the answer, starting at n equals zero. I don't think I can get it all on the screen. That, and then up till what here? All right, let me know if you have any questions. Hopefully you liked it. Have a good one.